Hi friends, welcome back. Tanya Roof, Meetings Together. Next week kicks off the holiday season. You know what that means. You have to see your family that you've been avoiding all year long. I would like to offer you some advice today that hopefully will help you get through the holiday season without going to crazy town. The bad news is you are the reason that you think your family's crazy. But the good news is, is that you are the reason that you think your family's crazy. crazy. Yay! No, that's really exciting because if you are the reason, then you can change your thoughts, right? So our thoughts create our feelings. So if you want to feel great this holiday season, you have to focus on your thoughts, not focus on your feelings. Okay, I'm going to say that again. Do not focus on your feelings, focus on your thoughts because our thoughts create our feelings. Okay? All right, close your eyes. All right, no, really, close your eyes. I'm serious. All right, now picture yourself in the Caribbean. All right, you're at the Hyatt Ziba. Shout out to Monica. All right, so you're at the Hyatt. You're in the VIP suite, one of those swim up suites. In your swimsuit, or maybe you're on the beach with your toes in the sand, maybe you're on a hammock. You're in your happy place, okay? So just picture it in your mind. You can see yourself there. You can hear the steel drum band. Your partner just went to go get you another Miami Vice. You are just in heaven, you're in paradise. You're enjoying it. Um, and just think about how great that feels, right? Picture it. How awesome is that? Okay, now open your eyes. How do you feel? Amazing, right? You want to be in Jamaica right now, right? Um, call me. I can set you up. Anyways, now let's do that exercise again. Close your eyes. All right, so now let's stick with the beach theme. Now we're at South Padre Island, where you've just booked an event at the Ritz-Carlton. So we get to the get to the airport, get in the Uber, and you say to the Uber driver, take me to the Ritz-Carlton. He says, there's no Ritz-Carlton in South Padre Island. There's Rick Carlton, who owns a VRBO, and your stomach drops. You are like, oh my God, my boss is gonna kill me. I should have listened to her and used Tanya Roof at meetings together. Okay, just kidding. All right, so you're in the car. You are in the Uber, you are on your way, you are Googling, you are freaking out, you get there, it is a dump. It is like the Bates Motel, it's disgusting, it stinks, there's trash all out front, garbage, you see flies, you see bugs, um, maybe somebody got sick up front, I don't know, it's just disgusting. And you know they have bed bugs and you are freaking out, like your boss is going to kill you because you royally messed up. You walk in, I mean, it is just, it stinks, it's awful. All right, open your eyes. You feel disgusting, right? You wanna go take a shower, right? Because of our thoughts. You pictured yourself in that situation and it stinks. Okay, so moral of the stories, our thoughts create our feelings. Now, what you need to do is you need to visualize, like we just did in those two exercises. You need to visualize it going well. You need to visualize seeing Aunt Karen and being happy to see her. And visualize her making a comment and you just brushing it off. Bless her heart, right? So, okay, so talking about the brain, this is science. It's not just, you know, woo-woo stuff. This is like legit science. So I like to think of the brain as um, the mullet, okay? The mullet brain. The front part of your brain is the prefrontal cortex. That is like the business part, all right? Um, that's where your, your thoughts are, your conscious thoughts are, your goals, your dreams, your aspirations, you know, your thinking brain. That is the prefrontal cortex, the business part. The back part is the party part. That is where your subconscious is stored, okay? That's the limbic brain. And there's three parts to the limbic brain. The um, amygdalas, right here where the hair hangs down on the mullet, both sides of the brain here, that's where your emotions are stored, where your, your anger is stored, your past stories that you're telling yourself about your crazy family are stored. That is subconscious. You have got to create new neural pathways to change what the limbic brain is telling you. So. It's not my advice, it's science, people. So, what did we learn? We have to change our thoughts, right? Because our thoughts create our feelings. We have to visualize. So visualize it going well. Like you, like we did in the beginning with the stories. Picture yourself 
having an amazing time and just having the best time ever. Now, it's gonna feel weird at first. You're not gonna be like, oh, this is great. Yay, I'm so glad I listened to Tanya. No, you have to practice, like anything. It's, it's, it's practice makes perfect. So for this week, I want you to start thinking, I am open to believing that my Aunt Karen just cares about my health. Or it is possible that maybe fill in the blank. So not negative thoughts, start with the smaller, that could happen, Aunt yeah, Karen could be. So practice that and start picturing it and visualizing, visualizing it in your brain. And then next week, maybe the day of Thanksgiving, get rid of that it's possible or I'm open to believing. Tell yourself that day, Aunt Karen is just concerned about my health, Aunt Karen just loves me. And then go into it that way. And I promise you, if you focus on your thoughts, they will help create your feelings. I promise you. So anyway, that's it for this week. Um, I hope you enjoyed uh, the stories. They were fun. If you really do want to go to Jamaica, I really do have a hookup. So please let me know. Um, and next week, we're talking about resort fees. So tune in for that. Subscribe below. Tell your friends. Um, what else? What else? Okay, I guess that's it. Today, do that one small step forward that is going to move you towards the better version of you. We'll see you next week. Bye.